identifying mixtures based on particle diagrams. So for identifying the elements in the particle diagram, we have a little key here. So the purple one, this jelly bean, represents element X. This, this one represents element Y. And this one represents element Z. Use the above information to answer the following question. The question is asking us, this diagram represents a molecule, compound, mixture, or element. And we have to identify which one the diagram represents. So when looking at this diagram, we're going to identify the things that we see first. So I see element X here. So I'm going to mark this as element X. And I see element Y here. So I'm going to mark this as element Y. So there are many element X's, one, two, three, four, as I can count, and more Y's. There's no element Z's. What I can notice, though, is that the X and Y's are free-floating, so they're not chemically combined together, except for this one down here, which kind of looks like X and Y are chemically combined. So we have a compound that is chemically combined, X and Y, and we have free-floating elements, X and Y. What this tells me is that this diagram just does not represent a molecule. A molecule can be a compound, but it can also be multiple elements chemically combined together. So if it was X2, for example. But this diagram shows X and Y and compound X and Y. So that's not a molecule. The diagram doesn't represent a molecule. It also doesn't represent just a compound. Although it has a compound in it, it doesn't represent just the compound. And also it just does not represent just an element because here it does not represent an element because there are free-floating elements but there are also compounds here. So D is wrong. So obviously we're talking about a mixture because it involves a mixture of a compound and also a mixture of elements together and X and Y being two different elements. So we would also consider this a mixture even if we didn't have the compound and element thing going on because X and Y are two different elements that are in the same place mixed together. We don't know if it's heterogeneous or homogeneous because we don't have a description of how it looks or what if we can see the difference or if we can't see the difference. So we just know that it's a mixture. So that is the answer to our question.